Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and this is your moving to a new location photo news fix from the new studio this fix is brought to you by b h who's celebrating photo and video creativity by putting on the inaugural build expo which is taking place september 6th and 7th in new york city at the javits center which i wonder what happened to jacob because it used to be jacob javits center Anyway, Build will feature over 130 brands, including Canon, Sony, Nikon, Peibu, and all these other companies on the screen right meow. Think of it as one of those old school photo expos, but done right. On top of the 130 brands, there are going to be 60 speakers across four different stages that include people like Atiba Jefferson, Art Wolf, Mark Seliger, some lesser known YouTuber by the name of, let me, what is, what's that? K, 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 Casey? Nice stat, and of course, me. Yeah, I'll be speaking on the main stage on September 6th at 4 p.m. And guess what? It's free to attend. For more information and to register for free, head on over to bit.ly slash fro build, and I hope to see you there. Hey there, you might have noticed something a little different with the photo news set. That's because we moved into the new space two days ago. I said we should hire movers. Now it's gonna take us a little bit of time to get some new sets built, but the news must go on. Now check out the video called Moving On, which is linked down below at the end of this video for a look at this new studio. First up, it's been a minute since we've mentioned Think Tank Photo, but I've personally been using Think Tank Photo since before Frodo's photo was even a thing. You can call me Og. And to be clear, since some people think that everything that I say is a plug, this is not a plug. Anyway, Think Tank's latest line of bags is called the Press Pass and was designed with photojournalists in mind. The Press Pass line currently consists of three sling style bags with two of them being able to be used like a fanny pack like this one. Cause because I got one on right now. This is the Press Pass 10. I do wish it was slightly curved. That's what she said. So that it could hug better to my body, though everyone's body shape is slightly different. I think a slight curve would be great. There's also the Press Pass 20, which I don't know if it's twice the size of the 10, but you take 10 and you times it by two and you get the 20. That should hold a 70 to 200, as well as a press pass sling. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of sling bags as I usually have a black rapid across my body and I feel that the sling bag might get in the way. Now, I've been looking for a solution that allows me to take smaller lenses and other random items like batteries and cables that I might need while I'm shooting an event. Now, sometimes I don't want or need a backpack when a fanny pack might work. <laughs> As always, the build quality is top notch. The inserts are great. There's plenty of pockets and compartments. And like all think tank bags, there is a raincoat to cover the bag in case of emergencies. Now I'm gonna take these out to the Phillies game and let some of the photographers out there who are real deal photojournalists and sports shooters try them out to tell me if they like it. And I'm also gonna tell you if I like it as well. They are priced at $129.75, which is weird for the 10, $139.75 for the 20, and $119.75 for the sling. Do you like these? Let me know down below. Next up, remember last week when I said the Nikon Z8 lug issue was probably not even a thing? Now, I personally think this might be an isolated incident and something else that's being blown way out of proportion. You got it all wrong. Well, this week, Nikon has acknowledged via a TSA. No, no, not a TSA agent, because that would be more like, take all your electronics out of your bag now. Take off your shoes. Take Take off your belt, take off your pants, take off your socks, stand up if you're in a wheelchair and walk through the magnetometer. In this case, TSA stands for Technical Service Advisory, not to be confused with the R word or recall. No shit. Do, do, you, do you hear that? Oh, what is it? No, no it's not me being canceled. I, I think the, the phone is ringing somewhere, but I think the phone is still packed away. Where is he? How dare he not answer my call? That Bastard. Here's what Nikon had to say. Users of Z8 cameras have informed us that the metal camera strap eyelets in the camera may become loose or separate from the camera body. Based on our investigation into the matter, it has become clear that this issue may occur if a Z8 camera strap eyelet is subjected to conditions such as strong impact, like a bird hitting the window, or continuous heavy stress. We have identified a range of Z8 camera serial numbers with which the issue may occur, and we'll address the issue as follows. 
below. Honestly, this is me talking. I still don't think this is a Nikon issue. I think this is a user issue. One, who still uses an old school camera strap? And two, it's possible that the few issues that there are are from cameras being mishandled. Now, if your camera is affected, Nikon will pay for shipping both ways and do the repair for free. You can search your serial number over on their website. Now, hear me out on this. I actually think this is a smart move by Nikon. They probably know this is an isolated issue. So by having people search their serial numbers on the website and then have their camera come back as fine, it actually makes people feel better. He wants you to feel all warm and toasty inside. I'm on to you, Nikon. I know what you're doing. Yeah, makes a man feel good. Now, my Nikon Z8 didn't have an issue. Did yours? Let me know down below. Just because we're in a new studio doesn't mean that Raw Talk is stopping. We do Fronos Photo Raw Talk every Friday. You can get it at fronosphoto.com slash podcast or wherever you listen. And finally, are you ready to plunk down upwards of $16,000 on this lens if Canon rumors is correct? No. And by this lens, I mean this lens, the rumored RF 200-500 f4. Now, Canon rumors is saying that this lens will be announced in the next few months, which is the end of 2023, and will replace the 200 to 400 f4 which had a built-in 1.4 tc oh boy am i excited about this lens now the 200 to 400 tc is a super popular sports lens for new shooters but it's never been my favorite as it feels like over time it starts to lose its sharpness now it's my guess that the 200 to 500 might do away with the built-in tc in favor of saving size weight and money now speaking of money canon rumors is saying that this lens will come in at fifteen thousand nine. $199, which means very few people will ever own one. But the news agencies will buy every single one they can get their hands on. And, and that's if Canon can actually deliver units after the announcement. I say that because they've been having issues getting enough stock of the 135.18, and I don't think they've even shipped the 100 to 300 2.8 in any type of quantity yet. Now, would you drop $16,000 on a lens like this? No. If so, you know what to do. Let me know down below. And there you have it. That's your first photo news fix from the brand new place. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.